TV speaking to Chelsea City manager Robbie Simpson after the draw today against Hampton Richmond. Robbie, what do you make of that point today? Um, well, I don't like the point, um, but I love the way we played. I thought we were we were excellent in the first half. Um, obviously, they switched us around to go with the wind. I know that they were against the wind against Eastbourne um, last Saturday and, and went one nil down and then and then struggled to to break Eastbourne down um, to get anything from that game. So obviously that was in their mind and they. They flipped it and went with the wind, um, and I thought we were the we were the dominant team. You know, I thought we were exceptional with the ball, really patient, um, played our way through the wind and through them, and created multiple chances. Um, scored one that got given offside. That I'd like to. I haven't seen it back, but I'd like to have a look at it back. Um, and then scored another good goal when we when we pressed them high against the wind, which was really brave of us to do. And then we were clinical when we won it back. We were calm and clinical when we won it back. And a great finish from Jonesy. And we could have been two 0 up in the first 26 minutes, having having lost the toss, been spun around, and um, perhaps expe expecting an onslaught, then expecting to pin us in our own half. And I thought we were outstanding. And we didn't really. Um, we just didn't deal with the corner, you know, and, and, and moments do, moments do affect games. And um, it wasn't the first phase of the corner. It wasn't even the second phase. It was the third phase, and we just have to remind our players there that that the corner's not over until it's over. You know, the, the corners can have one, two, three, four, even five phases. Until that corner's over, you have to do your job to the very, very end. And we had a couple that just. Um, switched off um, they'll learn from it for sure but that moment's kind of given them a bit of a lift and and they had a bit of a spell um, in the latter part of that first half and then in the second half you could just see them that they banked up tried to make us hard to break through you know that they um, they had it themselves uh, last week at Eastbourne so they knew exactly how to how to play and, and be tough to score against um, yeah they banked up um, Played for the, I would say played for the draw, but played for the counter attack um, break, and we came close a couple of times, but we just um, we weren't able to find that killer punch. I mean, disappointed. We had a lot of possession that second half. We dominated it, but we didn't really create enough chances to get the winner. Yeah, well, we had to be patient again. We did. We didn't want to go forward too quickly because the wind would just take it out for a goal kick and we were, we were nice and patient, worked it side to side. We hit the diagonal ball when we felt like it was on and we'd narrowed them up, um, got on the second balls. But yeah, it was just that final that final bit of um, quality, I think, that, that, that eluded us. But Hampton certainly made it hard for us um, to break them down. They were, they were organised, solid. Um, did their, did their basics well defensively and, and made it tough for us to, to break them down. I felt like we, I, I wouldn't say, we, I wouldn't say we were poor at breaking them down. It was just, it was just one of those games where it was really tough and, and we tried the right things. We kept trying to do the right things and, just that we just needed that final bit of luck or, or final bit of, bit of real quality to or conviction um, to get us the win and unfortunately we didn't. It feels like, it does feel like a loss because we were that dominant, but I think that's a good sign. I said to that in there, it does feel like a loss, but it's not, <laughs> it's a point. It's four points from the first two games. Both games we've been dominant with the ball, playing really nice, attractive football. Um, we've created chances and we'll get better. And you used different subs today than last week. Um, only Josh Castiglione was the same. Mo Betsimer scored a lot of goals in pre-season, but he hasn't started either game. Come on for 20 minutes, the first one didn't get used today. So, what was the thinking behind the the substitutions? And they come on. Just the way the game the way the game was really. Um, we needed to make a make a make a switch really in terms of our left to right side. Um, we felt we felt we could be more attacking down the right um, towards the latter part and and moving Brooksy um, out slightly, out and up slightly, and bringing Frankie on would just help us be secure for the break. Um, and then we just felt like with the wind, it carried the ball in behind um, a lot. So, you know, Freddie's our quickest player, runs in behind better than, better than most people in this league. So that was the thinking behind that. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. I thought Josh played very well. Um, 
Freddie did well, and, and Frankie's still obviously getting used to new teammates and stuff, but I thought he, he, he was solid. But there's always going to be, I mean, no one's got a divine right to play. No one's going to be left out for too long. We've got every single player in there I consider a starter that can start for um, games for me. They all will start plenty of games for me, but they're all together. You know, I spoke spoke to Mo, both of Mo's actually, because neither of them got on. Um, Apologise for not getting them on, but they're both understanding. They're both with us. They're both part of the team. They know they're going to get their opportunities. Um, so, yeah, it's, it is what it is. And uh, four points, an un unbeaten start at home, and a first away game at Welling have lost two games 1-0. Yeah, looking forward to it. Another chance for us to progress. Um, we obviously want to back up our first two games with, with a positive um, result at the end of it. Um, come down, get behind us. The lads will be at it. We're, they've, they've recovered now in their ice baths and warmed down. Um, winning Tuesday starts now, or started after the team talk, and we'll, we'll be ready to go. I suppose if you compare it to last season, Hampton did the double over us, so we've got uh, one point off them already, uh, if you look at it in, in that way. Yeah, I don't compare it to last season. They're, <laughs> they're a completely different team. So are we. OK, well done on the point today, Robbie, and uh, we'll move on to Tuesday. Cheers, Ben. Thank you.